Hello everyone and welcome to another one of these Look in the Boxes. Right, so, um, yes, let's all see who's paying attention to videos and who can remember a year ago. Uh, <laughs> or over a year ago, we're nearly, 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 nearly caught up now actually. Um, so I was going to do the V-Bombers because I was waiting from the masks. Well, this is literally the same night as I filmed the uh, camera woes and uh, Coronation uh, Bank Holiday Weekend update video. Anyway. Um, because those are both, both me, Swift and me, Seashire are waiting for, oh, dry weather and masking and the rest of that good stuff, I'm going to start something else. I've been wanting to do a hurricane now for a little bit, because, um, I really want to do a video talking about hurricanes and spitfires, basically. There's a lot of debate going on, and I just want to put my two pence in and hopefully put the thing to rest a little bit regardless of what, what's been said but anyway so anyway I want to do a hurricane because I've got a uh, spit lots of it still I am a Spitfire fan I'll admit that straight off but anyway this is the Italeri 148 scale sea hurricane as you can see now the box art is a beautiful painted image on a looks like a photograph of the sea I don't know something not quite right about this I'm not the biggest fan of it so it's a bit strange how there's a little bit of blur sort of being put into the painting. Mm. But Hurricane, C, Rest Hook, show me the bits that make a difference. It really is. Right, so let's have a look inside. It's about the mini bit I actually review of these, isn't it? Now uh, it's scary, as uh, Harry Houdini calls them, and I do tend to agree. <laughs> um as the uh, about the aircraft and pulls out read it. Um yeah, didn't you draw that phantom? Uh, which ironic that video went to life today. The Vietnam Aces phantom set. Um, so, yes, got your parts diagram here. Start with the interior. Very little of which you'll see. I don't even know, I'm going to use... I think another thing that this comes, becomes painted, I don't think I'm actually going to use it, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure, we'll see when I come to build it. But yes, carpet framework going in. Now apparently this kit isn't particularly good and people are saying if you want to see her you can build the airfix one. Um looks like you do get a Rolls Royce Merlin to go in there. Here's what the seat. Bring it all together. Now I've already ringed the ones I wanted because uh the exhaust I want because this particular version I want I'll be wanting to do. Building the wings, bringing that all together onto the fuse off with the fin, the slightly radar on the end. Um, radar are poseable, which is good. Showing how the lights are actually orientated. Uh, down the bottom there, should actually show it on the camera, so there we are, so they're orientated. Underside details, including the separate fillet for the uh, rest hook. Don't use some of these parts for landing a closed position. So there's a gear up option, which is cool. You've got weighted wheels if you're doing gear down. And there's a little diagram showing correct positioning for landing gear up. So you hide the flat spot uh, with the door or the cover. And uh, yeah, do it up there. Carrying on, it looks like you can. Looks like the um, yeah, obviously open engine cars. You don't need to see this one here because it. Oh, you can see it if you want to. There we are. It's uh, self-explanatory. Leave it off. It doesn't look like they're actually structural, intrinsic to the structure of the aircraft. Which is good, the engine, so you can leave the engine out. I tend to find leaving the engines out if you intend to do a closed cowling is the best route to actually having things fit. Canopy. Escape panel to can be posed open. And then there's the uh, all closed up option there. And then finally, just that little ring that sits on top. And the propeller going on. So your options are 
um, V7506 7T of thank you to Larry for telling us what squadron um, based on H56 Victorious June Operation Pedestal. And you got 800 Naval Air Squadrons, uh, AF, is that AF or AF, 955, 7E. Uh, I believe this is the squadron that the surviving Hurricane, Sea Hurricane, is from. She went tech the morning of Pedestal. Um, you got 800 Naval Air Squadron on from HMS Indomitable. Oh, both the HMS Indomitable Pedestal again. I wonder if there's parts for a regular, regular Heart Mark 1 Hurricane in here. Um, and, uh, one from 768 Naval Air Squadron at McKinrish. Finish? Apologies to my any Scottish viewers. Uh, I won't butcher any further. But that is P2886M2H. Um, an 801 Naval Air Squadron Operation Pedestal on HMS Indomitable, Indomitable again. Um, and that is V70777H. And finally, this, again, it's the thing you buy at Larry Kits for um, drunk decor sheet in the catastrophe seat because, uh, yeah, you get so many options. HMS Taurus Operation Pedestal goes 1942. Um, and again, no squadron, but 7YW9134. Okay. It's quite a big construction sheet. So there's your photo etch if you want it. Um, let me just rip out. I didn't see if it actually needed to use that. Yeah, hopefully that's just a nice tip. I always think uh, a photo etch should be optional. It should never be an intrinsic part of the kit. Yeah. So you can either do it that way, or you can put that on top. Um, because, quite frankly, I hate it. <laughs> I understand, I totally get the whole thing. Here you go, your two options there. I totally understand the whole thing with uh, you get uh, better detail. when And that finer detail with it, but it should never be intrinsic to the kit. I've built some tanks that were like that, and it's just like, oh, I hated it. Got it done, but I hated it. <laughs> Which is not what we do models, is it? But there's the uh, so there's the, the lights with the you see the pattern on that. Bring it a bit closer. Or a nice separate bag if you like. We like separate bags like that. Um, propeller and rudder. Not sure. Yep, it looks like everything might have been separately bagged when I first opened it. Right, now something I'm looking for here is a spare one of these. Or I might just fill that in. So I'm not sure if I'm actually going to build this as a sea hurricane. Because <laughs> that's literally any different than the Merlin. Which I might build up and just have separate, you know. Um, Hmm. Don't look like I get the option there. So in which case, sorry, no offence to the other other ones, but uh, here's all the colour colour images of the various aircraft here. I've got a feeling that it's going to be this one I do, the Scottish one. Just because these are all operation pedestal, which is all close to my heart for Malta because that's when my grandfather grew up during the war as a small boy watching your dog fights and so on and if this kit doesn't turn out to be that good no offence to the Scottish one or anyone that flew her but it's I'd rather have um, the better kit available for to me for that so I thought I might um, try and fill that in maybe I don't know or maybe if it's a Larry did a regular hurricane, I might see if they got a spare part and just like, oh, yeah, uh, mine didn't come with it. Can I have this? <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll have found out by now because hopefully the build video will be up. They get the reveal video. But yes, everything's nice. 
um, scroll panel lines and everything, ribbing the fabric over it. So this is one of the big things about the Hurricane that I'll address now as part of the video I'm going to want to make. Is that, oh, because of its fabric construction, the Hurricane is so much easier to repair. That wing's metal. That wing's metal. So top and bottom metal. That's all metal. You can see it. Where that line is here. That's the fabric part. And that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And the uh, tail, the horizontal stabilizers. That, that there, fabric. And that bit there is fabric. But that's metal. It's not that much fabric comparative to Spitfire. <laughs> you know, all the engine cowling is fab uh, metal. The only hurricane had a fabric wing, but this is this has got a metal wing, and that appeared on the one um, A, I believe it was it uh, first came on, because the ones I think I think the initial one was the two blade prop fabric wing. I think there were some three blade prop fabric wings as well, but yeah, most of the ones in the Battle of Britain had a wing, including R four one one eight. So there it is though, that's an interesting pattern in the, can you see that? Yeah, you can just see on the camera like, bruh, 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 bruh. but yes, all looking rather nice. I don't really pick that one up, you can see it. Flaps aren't poseable, so you can't pose as the kit comes, you can't pose the um, arrestor hook down, or the flaps down, as per the photograph on the box art, but, yeah. <laughs> I find it strange when kit manufacturers do it like that. But anyway, so that, yes, that is the Seahawk from, from Italeri. Um, I hope it's going to be an alright build. The transfer sheet. Which of course, being Italeri, so it's going to be Cartograph. Um, so, good quality there. But yes, uh, we'll see. So, I think I'm actually going to do some research now and see if. Uh, of course, it delays my build, doesn't it? I'll build it. I'll build it. I'll build it. I reckon, and I'll do it as that Scottish-based one. Unless it's an absolute stonker of a kit, and it actually, it actually wants to be built and the rest of it, then I might do it on the pedestal ones. But uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Take care. Stay safe and be well. And I'll see you in the next one, which may or may not be the bee bombers. It all depends on where my interest takes me next. Okay, goodbye for now.